Hey everybody, welcome back to Control. Glad to have you here. If you could be so kind as to maybe leave a like and hit that comment section down below, that would help a great deal and would be very much appreciated. Now for this... I'm not doing that one. But for this video, I'm going to be doing Fridge Duty, which was a sort of a side mission I picked up uh, during my first visit to the Panopticon. Where I have to go and help this poor bastard because he's been left here. Keep them up. 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 Staring at this fridge for hours. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes! They can't! They can't! Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Alright, speak with Langston. Cell breaching from every level. These his things are a bad influence on him. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day. I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's. Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Uh huh. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just super lazy. So I'll fast travel up here. Uh, frame rate. Which way? Okay, I know where I am. And the next one? Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Jesse? The frick is doing something! Philip? <laughs> That's interesting. I can't get out, and I can't look away. Maybe I can cleanse it. <laughs> this sounds like the board, but I can't understand it.
Ay, what happened? I got stuck in some scenery, I think. Ah, well, I know roughly now what to do, I guess. And what attacks it has. It doesn't seem like it'll be that hard. Just need to be wary of the scenery. Because they're very, like, small things scattered everywhere. That I can easily just walk into. Okay, let's try again. Ah, I keep going the wrong way. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Jesse? The French is doing something! Philip? <gasps> Look away. It hurts me. <laughs> this sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. I grab those things, those orbs. Let's see. Yes, I can. What happened? Ah, uh, uh, keeps happening to me. Ah, uh, this is going to be a bitch. Do I, I have to go through that conversation with that poor bastard every time now. Yeah, I'm coming in, and he's like, "No, the fridge is eating me." All right, so just what I can gather from what I saw of how I died that last time around, part of the floor's missing? Or something? Uh, hmm. That could be a problem if I'm backing up away from the thing and just fall down a hole. Alright, let's go again.
Hey, is there any? No, there's no health bar there. Shit. Ah, oh, there should have been a health bar there. Like a like health cube things. Ah, no, come on. What's going Ah, this is so infuriating. Like, I'm trying to grab the, the things and I can't tell if I'm grabbing it or not. I only tell last minute when some random piece of crap from the scenery just comes flying towards me. All right, we can do this. I believe. Just need to sort of, you know, take it easy a little bit. Stop jumping around so much. Just, yeah. <laughs> That's the plan, sort of, kind of. Come on, really? Hmm. <laughs> I yeah. Let's keep dying from the same old errors. My apologies. Use evade to quickly escape nearby hazards. Yeah, I can't really use evade in this. If cause, yeah, because I'm facing that thing, and if I use evade, there's a good chance I'm just gonna stop sort of right above an opening in the ground because it looks like wherever those projectiles hit destroys the ground mm. but then the ground d d you know disintegrates or whatever starts breaking down anyway well, every time that thing pops under and then pops back up somewhere else
Come on, move it, move it, move it, move it. Don't die. Don't you dare die. Alright, we'll start over So that thing takes damage, regardless of whether it shoots that shit at you. Alright, well, that's the furthest I've gotten so far. At least now I know. So, first one, first two sections, it just fires that those weird orbs at you, and then for the last one it doesn't bother at all. Because it's scared. Okay, so, this next time... <laughs> This next time should work. Probably shouldn't start shooting things that can be thrown back at you. Is that stuck up there? Oh, I die! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> every time. Well, not every time. Didn't die last time. I think that's the only time I haven't died from falling down a random pit. Alright, the levitate ability is my friend, I think. This is a lot. <laughs> from first glance, dealing with the fridge, I didn't think it would be that hard. Like, this hard. But, you know... It's proving more challenging than I ever expected it would be. And that's probably a good thing. Because I just remember at the beginning of the game wondering whether or not this game will provide any meaningful challenge for me. And now I'm just like, wow, can't beat a fridge. Philip? If I look 
look away. It hurts me. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Yeah. But wait, there's no black pyramid here. The fridge seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? Yeah, it didn't help Philip much. Something happened before I could get him out. Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge. Had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. Oh, 
I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Okay, so what did he get me? Like, give me rather. Uh, old friends, old growth. Langston's runaways. Glens contain the Japanese Pippa Lantern, traffic light, hand chair, and moving letters. Okay. And I'll do old growth. I might do some of these later because they look like they can take a while. I'll do old growth next time. But as for now, though, I'm going to call uh, call this to an end. Thank you all for watching. It means a lot, and I look forward to hearing from you next time. Until then, though, take care.